All right, today we're in a Mitsubishi Triton. So 2006 to 2015, you're gonna have a dash that looks a bit like this. Now, it's like Mitsubishi do, they put out heaps of badges and different like variations. But as long as your dash comes down like this, and you kind of have this a bit here, you can see there's this little black bit, and it actually goes all the way back to the back. As long as you have this a looking dash, then this is the hedge unit you're going to need. So that's it. Now there's a few different like, variations. So you could have this like doubled in one here, and you could have a trip computer on top, or you might like not have the trip computer. And you can have the uh, radio down here that has a trip computer in here, all of the radio down here, and uh, no trip computer in here. Now they're all the same. Our hedge unit and like the fascia is going to uh, fit, and we include about four or five different like, wiring kits to, for each one, and I'll explain how they are wired. Up. Now, if you do have the trip computer, we will sell, so you can keep this or you can just get rid of it. If you really want to keep it, we will sell the relocation box as well and we'll cover that but you end up obviously putting it down here. I mean, it's a bit of an extra task to do, depends if you really want to keep it or not. Then they don't have too much going on, you got steering wheel controls, majority of them don't have reverse cameras, some might, I'm not too sure. But this is a 2015, so this is probably the last of the models before they change the new shape. So we'll go ahead and uh, put it in. Now, what you want to do here is you've got to get this big piece off. So it can be quite tight and get your trim tool in here. If you're finding it's a bit tight and you're not getting your trim tool in, it should eventually fit in. And you can see it just starts to uh, like pop up. So you just want to go around and like pop it all up like that. You might I need to use two, so I'll leave that one in. Grab like another one. We include this in the kit, so go around and I pop that out. So basically, I got a corner up, and then if you kind of pull this forward, and then you'll find you can actually just uh, get your hand in, the whole thing will come forward. And you can see it's pretty loose now. You just got to get it around the bottom of here. And I know some of them had a little tab on them. I'm not sure if this one does or not. We'll have a little, if you find it quite stiff, Stuck. You could have these little tabs under here that you have to get to. I'll give it a wiggle and we'll see. Again, it's plastic, so just, you know, take it easy on it. Now I'll show and show you what I uh, sort of mean here. Now, not all models are going to have this, but there's a steel tab you can see in between us just there, and there's a steel tab also in between uh, like those two. Now, what you want to do, I can't hold the torch in all my hands, but so basically is if you get a trim tool here and like give yourself a a bit of space and then just with a screwdriver you want to uh, like push that sort of like steel tab in a little bit and then you should find the whole thing will uh, pull off now you'll see what I sort of mean about those little tabs so you just want to get a screwdriver so you can sort of like, sort of like push them to the um, side a bit and then they will come off there they are there to give you a bit of a look so hopefully that kind of explains it so that's that we're up to here now. We shouldn't take off a few screws and then go from there. So there'll be a few screws to take out. One, two, three, four, five, six, I believe. Can't remember if all of them have six, but if you just have a look, you'll be able to work out the ones you need to take out. So we'll take out all of those. Ah, that's right. There's also some at the back here. Uh, you'll need a little uh, sort of stubby uh, Phillips to get to them. Some in the top there, so you need to take out. Right, so I've also taken out two ones here. One, two, two in the back, and I've unplugged the trip computer. If you have a trip computer, one, push down, pull out. Here's our trip computer, comes off. Um, here's our radio, and that actually pulls out now, and we'll take our plugs off. So, in hindsight, I unscrewed some, you didn't actually have to unscrew. So that's our radio out, that's the back of it there, and our trip computer. So really it was just one, two, three, four, five, six that had to come out, not these two here, so you can actually leave those two in, they didn't have to come out. And those are all our plugs there. There we go. Now I'll just cover like what you get in the kit, because at the start when you open it up you can be like, well there's a lot of wires here, so user manual. I use a manual here, install manual as well. Pins, so you've got the install and like so the user manual, the two separate things. Head unit and like fascia, so you can see it's got this huge like fascia on it. This is like the back of the head unit, so our main uh, 20 pin plug, auxiliary plugs, GPS, uh, 4G antenna, FM, AM. Now, about 100 cable kits. One, two, three, four, five. So that's how many different like, variations there are. You will be using the one that fits your model. You, you'll see when we go I put it in, you'll I plug it in and you'll be like, ah, oh, okay, that one fits uh, like my car, that's what I need. So that'll be quite straightforward. You'll understand that. The other end goes into our main uh, 20 pin plug. Trim removal tools, help you remove that. 
our 4G antenna, our GPS antenna, our third USB, that's handy for our dash cam or TPMS, dual USB and external mic port, a rear camera and a secondary camera input cable, auxiliary, most people don't uh, use this, it just gives you an extra auxiliary input. Pre-outs, again, unless you're running like an, like an amplifier, you're not going to need it. 4G uh, like SIM card, we'll just take it to the uh, glove box in case you do use it. A uh, hydration assistant, reverse camera, a 1080p color reverse camera, OBD2 scan tool, Reader engine ECU, some uh, connectors to help with the reverse camera. Our uh, Bluetooth Wi Fi antenna, which actually, if you're not using like the pre out, goes into, sorry, into here, um, and we can put that in now. Our USB stick for any like, updates, and our dual USB port that goes in the, uh, like a, a rocker, a panel blank. So that's everything that's in the kit. So you just need to find the cable kit that matches your car. Um, I know we're actually missing a, a one and like this one, and we've updated the kit, but we should have a 20 pin a, a one analogs like this one. So we should have a 20 pin for this, um, and because uh, so this one here will do your uh, steering wheel controls, but don't like worry because that like will be in your kit. Um, we'll make sure that is in the kit, and you'll be okay. But so uh, normally you'd have a, a two one like this, and it'll just uh, plug in like so. Okay, so now uh, you've uh, hooked it in. We just tested it here in the power. So plug this big one into here. We've got a, uh, it's like a, it's a, like a DC filter on our reverse power for some reason. I'm not sure why we have that in. I'm assuming we've like, worked out in the past that we had some interference. So we've added it in to check the log. So we power up the car and we should get power on here. And we're not getting power, so that's when we check out. Ah, so that's sort of some of these like sort of models are obviously like, sort of different. We have a ground here, and we've got two options for ground. So you just need to try them up like both and see which one uh, so like, sort of works. So you've just got to put that into either like that one or into uh, that one. So normally, if you go back to where they're both going in, you'll they'll find there'll be no wire on the one that won't actually work. So you can see I've plugged in uh, so, uh, this one here because if you did follow that back, it goes to that that one here, which has got a wire on the, the back side, and the other black one you can see goes to here, which has no wire. So on like this model, it's like that one. That's uh, why we've in, included like these two here because on some models it could be the other one. So we're now plug in here just to make sure it all powers up. So we'll power this like unit on now we've found on some of these tridents you might have to that earth is an earth but for some reason it doesn't seem sort of stable so there is a screw down there you might just have to take our earth onto that um you'll find out soon enough anyway if you try to uh, power it up but just get in contact with us if you are having issues because we can help you out so i'm just going to put in the main 20 pin plug and the radio one here and sit there a unit up in here you can see we've got power which is always a good sign and what we want to check here is we want to go first check we've got sound coming through like the radio so we've got sound awesome steering wheel controls now steering wheel controls aren't going to work by default settings car infotainment um, steering wheel controls click one and then push it on the wheel and you can see it goes from flashing to solid color. Now if I go home and, and I'm, I'm using my steering wheel controls now, you can see our, our volume is going up and down. So that's all we've got going on on, on like this one. So we needed to do. So now we'll turn it off, take it out, and we'll start putting all the uh, uh, cables, etc., in, and we'll go from there. So there is, you can, there's a, a 10 mil uh, nut down here, you can take like the earth off if you have to take off the earth uh, for it. Just put it in like that now because I was just uh, like testing. For some reason we've got two earths on this but neither of them work. But it does come up as an earth so not 100% sure. Yeah, I think the uh, easiest thing to do is you've got uh, two on here. So what we normally do is if you like take the one that's going like, nowhere, uh, like chop it off, it's like still gives you a, a plug here. So it'd be easy to uh, like, unplug if you did want to take the harness out. But yeah, just going to put it back to the earth behind there. Now we'll just put the cables in uh, one by one. We've got our third single USB here. This has a pink uh, one on it. Majority of people are going to use our USB ports. Probably do a uh, run something uh, like, so like extra that we do provide or, or whatnot. Um, you can put them uh, wherever you want. Uh, so we quite often just put them down to the glove box here. You can see that's coming through. I actually just dropped the uh, like glove box off, which you can do by just uh, pulling your two top ends in and it will uh, pull uh, down. 
Now we've got our two USBs and external uh, mic. I'll talk through this. Sometimes in our kits we have the external mic, sometimes we don't. If it's in the kit, try it uh, with the external mic and without uh, uh, before you put it in. And, and then you can put the external mic in if you want. Sometimes there'll be no difference, sometimes there is. It's just best to test in real life and just see how it sounds, we've found. So that one's through there. I've left uh, like this one out here, and I'll explain that in a second why well, I've done that. Got our uh, GPS. This is fairly straightforward. Just needs a clear a clear view of the sky with no steel above it. So pretty easy on all dashes to get that. So it just needs to look through the windscreen. All you normally end up doing is peeling off this. This model actually gives you yeah, there's an, enough space in there, so you can just put it straight down the middle here. It's actually the perfect spot for it. You clean your dust off here, and you just put it straight in there like that. That is pretty easy, just like any stick, 3M type stick pad. Push it down hard, 10, 20 seconds, and away you go. 4G antenna, so our units can take a SIM card, which gives the other unit uh, internet the whole time practically becomes like the phone as well some people probably 10% of our customers like actually like, use that uh, like, feature um, it's just built in so it's there if you do need it or if you don't uh, need it it doesn't matter but you might as well put the in antenna in um, because then it's there if you ever do want to use it so it's just having a little internal battle with this stick pad again you've got enough room here so I just stick this in wherever you want it's gonna stick okay in there it's gonna be your 4g antenna sim card slot so again some people will use this some people will uh, uh, not be using it best to uh, run it put it in the glove box so if you do need it you've got it don't need it well that's okay but at least you've run the cable already now to be honest it is a little bit tight getting things through down here I was I was winging it before with my hands um, should be able to do the same but if it does get a bit hard to do just tape these onto a, a coat hanger or a screwdriver and you can pass them through is the easiest way now we include like this in the kit on this car there's only a spare spot here so we're going to actually mount it in here depending on what model and what not because it can be depending on where you have them but obviously we have two cords here uh, this cord here is going to plug in to that a usb i didn't run down so it's going to give us like a tidy a way to put like a usb into the head unit if we need coming through like so audio and the other one's a quick charge 3.0 needs accessory and ground and i'll show you what we'll do there so a little bit of a cheap way to get this uh, this out you can just pull the tab at the top here there is screws in the bottom so you can take off this whole trim bit but if you just pull it up at the top uh, you'll get it far enough out wasn't plugged in and then this here just has three screws on it which if you pull out the fuse here you can just get a screwdriver in the back and uh, sort of take out your three screws uh, uh, one's in the bottom down like the middle and two each side and then you just have to get a screwdriver under here and uh, like pop out the blank these blanks are in pretty tight so you just need to like, sort of flex the plastic up a bit all right so we'll put uh, like sort of that in there now the power we might it'd be easier to use a fuse tap and take the power off an ACC source in your fuse box there um, and then just a ground off there's a ground right there if you want to use that bolt we might see if we can include one of those in the pack but what i've done is oh, we have just like taken it off our red our acc wire here with an spr connector that we had in our kit for the camera so that's where we've got the ground and power from and if you turn on the keys that goes blue so that's how you test if uh, that's all powered up just obviously you run the cable along there and up behind there sorry and just on that um our usb thing i should have said we do include like these in the kit so these little tap ones so obviously like the end of the like red and black from our US LRB would go into here our pliers like crimp it together just like a scotch connector and you can just uh, t-tap into our red and t-tap into a ground so that's what you can like, use as well oh yeah I'm just I'll put those down I forgot they're in the kit so now we're going to cover the reverse camera and what I've done here is we've got a reverse camera in I've, I've run this around the outside of the car I'll show you what we're going to do. There's one wire that we're actually uh, missing here, which I'll explain to you what it is in a second too. This actual uh, one here would actually be hooked to our orange and black one um, when you are, uh, actually it's not orange and black on, on like this harness, it's our, our camera uh, A. And I did uh, measure the voltage on this and the uh, the actual tail lights are at 11, which is a bit like low, which is probably a wire with this voltage regulator in here. 
we must have worked it out uh, once that this is as I like needed. So this green will go to this like white one and that'll be our trigger. For now we won't worry about that. We'll just let this head unit boot up. It takes a while because we've killed the power on it. Like normally it'll uh, quick boot. And all we want to do is throw this in reverse. Um, there's going to be no trigger because we don't have the trigger wire hooked up. That's what I just talked about. Push the F cam at. Push that so the camera's facing backwards. And we want to see, beautiful, our camera's working. Now, that's what we want to check at, uh, this end. That's fine, we can pull that out, and pull this out, put that down, put that back down, and I'll show you, I'll just, I'll just run this around the outside of the car, because if you come with me, it's always good to test stuff before you actually do it. Camera's gonna end up being put, mounted up here, so we'll put our wires through here, and then we've just taken our power off the trailer plug here. So if you've got a, uh, like a trailer plug, uh, pull it back, you can pull it out like this, which just comes out the, out the front of it, and you can see like normally on your trailer plug ground will be all white and the reverse the lights are black so I've just uh, tapped into that so uh, that will be tidy and and, uh, and uh, that's our two plugs that go into our camera if you didn't have a trailer plug you just have to find your reverse lights and tap off there it is easier uh, doing it from the back because you can actually see sort of what is like what but majority of them are going to have a trailer plug now this cable here here, here which is like our RCA we've got to uh, like run through the car and I normally put it on top of the uh, chassis rail into the cab so I'll show you how we, how we uh, run that and that's the camera so I uh, normally on my utes to uh, uh, run that uh, like cable I use the cable threader and I push the and I push pushed it down the chassis rail here. Now you can just uh, run it on top and zip tie it. If, if you like, push it down though, you can just like, pull it out when it comes through one of these holes here. I pulled it out here. There's always a grommet to get through under the driver's or passenger seat and you can come up through there. And then oh, under here, just like tuck it into some of the existing ones. Under here, through there, I just dropped a, a coat hanger or whatever and use steel wire down here. I tape it on the bottom, I pull it back through. Here it is. All right, now the original uh, face you had three uh, clips on the top here. These are white clips. You can just uh, like pull them off with your fingers. I take them off the original uh, face here and just uh, put them onto our one. Now we can go and put everything in. Um, you can uh, tape it up a bit to tidy it up how you like. I normally like to start from a one side and I work my way back towards the other side. Make sure you've got that green camera wire into that orange and black one, or in our case, it was the white camera A plus wire. Now you got all these, plug these all in. GPS, 4G. So I like to start from one side and work my way back, because then you can't forget something. Guaranteed you probably will forget something. Um, AM, FM, that needs a good push in. And then float all the wires back. There's plenty of room on this uh, model, um, like so. Now, before you put it in, do that test that we've, oh, do that test that we've done a hundred times. Ah, got no power. Need to double check something. Sorted our power issue out. Now, check your steering wheel controls are still are working. Sound, awesome. Reverse camera. Don't knock the camera over. Um, Okay, now if you're getting that happening, troubleshooting is go F cam, go backwards. We can check if the camera's getting power. All right, so the camera's getting power, but our trigger's not working, so we just need to adjust that. Now you can see our camera's working now. Um, that was on me for uh, not like checking it. I actually had to put that green wire off the RCA straight to our orange and black one, and I chopped off that uh, DC thing. I, I will find out that why we have that on the harness, because obviously it wasn't like needed here, but if you have that issue, hook our orange and uh, black one, it's hooked to that uh, heat shrink uh, box, chop it and hook it straight into there. On our different uh, harnesses, the orange and, and, and black one's just gonna be loose, so you can hook that into that green one anyway. Now, you kinda gotta slide this back. I like to slide it back all at the sort of same time. That makes sense, so as you come in, like that, and it all comes back in like so, and that's all looking pretty good. Just when you're popping this trim off to do the reverse cameras, try and get your trim tool around where each of those holes are, and if you end up pulling this off and you've actually pulled off all these, just use a, a trim tool with the a fork and get them under them and like leave them up, and you can put them back on. Just that there was a little bit tight. Let me 
just goes down like that. 